Welcome to Hacking DNA. This video is all about the Mac spoofing. The tool we use for Mac spoofing on Kali Linux is Mac Changer. And let's open the tool Mac Changer on Kali Linux. To open this tool, go to the Kali Linux, then sniffing spoofing, then network spoofing, and here is your Mac Changer. Enter it. Now your Mac Changer will open and look like this. Now this is the basic usage of Mac Changer. This is how you can use your Mac Changer with the command Mac Changer, then options. These are the options and the device. Now how you know that? What is a device? Device is your interface and to know your interface just open your terminal and enter the command if config and here it is you can see that interface in my case the interface is ethernet1 and this is my ip on ethernet1 and this is my mac address this is my permanent mac address right now i will show in front of you now let's move on to the mac changer and let's use our first command let's start with the help option what it will do it will show you the screen again right so let me clear the window and I'll show you how you can use it. Mac changer minus H. Here it is. You can see that same window once again with the help option. Now, if you want to see the version of the Mac changer you are using in Kali Linux, use this command Mac changer minus cap, sorry, hyphen capital V and press enter. Here you can see that your Mac Changer 1.5.0 is a version number and this tool was written by Alvaro Lopez Ortega. Okay, the second option we have completed. Now let's move to the another option which is hyphen S stands for show and this will show the Mac address and exit automatically. So let's enter this command and see what will it display to us. I'm going to enter this command Mac changer hyphen s and our interface name, right? And press enter. Here it is. You can see that the difference it will show a permanent Mac address, right? And with the window name. And the name is Cadmus Computer System. Okay, so we have completed three basic options for help. Second one is version, third one is show. Now let's move to the other option that is hyphen E stands for ending. It means don't change to render bytes. Now what does this mean? Right now we have a MAC address this one right now when I enter this command you can see what it will display so when I enter map changer hyphen e option and my device name and here it is you can see the difference earlier we have a MAC address look like this. Now we have a MAC address look like this. You see the difference? Just check it out. These three bytes are the window bytes. Right? And these three are your MAC address. And this is showing your permanent MAC address. Right? And after spoofing, our new MAC address is this. The first three vendor bytes never change with this option, but the another three options will change it. So now our MAC address is changed, but the vendor MAC bytes are not changed. So with this option, hyphen E, this thing will happen. Right? You can see that the uh, when name is also there, Cadmus Computer System. 
Okay, so we have finished the another command that is hyphen e. Now clear it's the screen again and let's use the hyphen h option again to see the different other options. Oh, I'm so sorry for this. Okay, so another command is another, right? Hyphen A stands for another. Now, what does it mean? It means it sends random vendor Mac of the same kind. Let's see that. How? What type of this? What type of result it will show to us? So, when I enter the command Mac changer hyphen A and uh, it interface name here you can see the difference this is a previous one mac address now this is a new mac address vendor byte is also changed and the mac address is also changed so the name of this vendor byte is softradio.co.lt right so this option will display like this right so let's move to the other option that is hyphen A capital A. What it will do? It sends the random vendor Mac of any kind. So let's try Mac changer hyphen A and your device name. Here it is. You can see that it will send the random vendor Mac of same kind. So in the Mac, in the Mac of any kind, it is different one. Netcom Research Incorporated. Okay, now the next command is hyphen p. What it will do? You can see that it will reset the original permanent hardware Mac. Okay, right now we have the spoof one, and if I want this mac address again i have to use this command mac changer hyphen p and our device name and press enter so you can see that before using this command we have a mac address this one 8 c now we are back to our original permanent mac address 110845 Okay, so the last, second last command I'm going to use it is hyphen R, that stands for random. What it will do, it will set fully random Mac. What does it mean? Let's use this command and try to understand practically. Now, when I enter Mac changer with the option minus R and interface name. When I press enter, here it is. It, sh it set the random Mac, right? It's different from previous one. And another thing is, it is not telling us the name of the vendor by vendors. So this command will give the result like this. Now, the last command I'm going to use is list. It will print the known vendors. I'm not going to use this command. And the last command is hyphen L. So let's use this command Mac changer hyphen L and our interface name. So when I press this option and enter it, the result will look like this. These are all your known window names. And these are your wireless Mac windows. And above you can see that the moon in the name is 14,699. And these are other wireless Mac addresses. So it's almost 14,700 or 800. So that is too much.
more Mac windows. So if you want to know more about Mac windows, you can use this option and you can refer this to Mac Changer. So this is how we can use Mac Changer on Kali Linux. Thanks for watching this video. And don't forget to watch the another part of this video because on that video I am going to show that if we spoof the MAC address and try to ping the another operating system in between of that when I use Wireshark what type of MAC address it will show to us with that this proof mac address will work or not this is what we are going to try in that video so till then keep watching following us hacking dna because lots of lots of more tutorial has to come keep following hacking dna thank you